Hi, I'm Randy from CampingFishingCalifornia.com. Today we want to wrap up this little thing that we've been doing on Road and Wars. But before we do that, I want to talk to you about a, a few other things. One of the things that we were going to do was get up to Rincon, which is up above Ventura, off of the 101 freeway. It's a little camping area that is a two-lane highway, and they allow you to park right on that highway and the rocks are right next to you and then the water so you're right on the ocean and um, like I said we haven't gotten up there yet due to this COVID thing but as soon as we do we'll get back to you and give you a little bit of an idea as to what it's like the other thing that I want to talk to you about was Lake Sylvia that's the lake I was trying to remember the name of in the last video and it's a little lake that's just north of the little town well it's not north yeah it's just north of the little town of Montesano Washington which is out on the Olympic Peninsula so that lake is just gorgeous the campground is just gorgeous if you ever get a chance to get up there and check that out you really got to check it out it's just incredible so when we get a chance and get up there we'll uh, give you a little report on that too and let you know how we like it the other thing I want to talk to you about was Bridgeport now this year we did not get up to Bridgeport and do our fishing but um, and camping but we have a buddy that w went up there and they checked it out and they said that even though the uh, fishing game was not stocking the water at all up there that they did bring some nice trout down from the hatcheries up in Oregon to supply all the, the anglers for the tournaments that they have up in that area. So there were a lot of nice looking trout in Twin Lakes, uh, Bridgeport Lake, and then um, also I think in, in the Walker River. By the way, there's a lot of noise going on behind us. They're breaking up some cement down there or something. So bear with us on that, please. Now the um, last thing I wanted to talk to you about was all this uh, mouse stuff that we've been going through. Um, one of the things that we did was we went to Fritz Ford and had a mechanic there um, go in and, and put foam in the areas that he thought there would be a problem with. I'm going to show you that in just a few minutes. Also, um, as we were talking about before, on the way up to our last camping trip, we stopped off at a affordable RV up on the 15 just south of Bear Valley um, yeah I think it's Bear Mountain or Bear Valley Road and affordable RV is on the frontage road to that freeway I think it I think the road is Mariposa but what they did was they took some mouse free which is a, a, a liquid kind of a gel thing uh, uh, gallon that we got off of Amazon we took it up there and they sprayed it on the the chassis under the the, the rig they kind of like an undercoat it did kind of like an undercoat with it on our rig and we think that between the Fritz Ford foam and the, the spray the mouse free that affordable RV did um, we think that's what really took care of our problem this year so guys remember our affordable RV because if you need this done to your rig there are other places that do it but I have a hunch that affordable RV is going to be the go-to place for people in Southern Cal so just want to mention those two things now I want to mention uh, I want to talk to you about a, um, a camera that we got and I'm gonna take you over there and show you that right now so as you can see we're looking at the box that the camera came in it is a Hawk HD 1080p by Genie and this thing is pretty amazing um, I'm not going to go into the details and tell you everything about it I just want to give you the um, model number and, and that's GN-CW011-199 this thing is really amazing um, what it does is it takes a snapshot um, when a motion sets it off and then with that, uh, on top of that s screenshot, I believe it's on top of it, there's a little link that says view, and then you can go back and view the specific footage that it records of whatever it is that was setting off the camera. So now let's go take a look at it in the rig. 
As you can see, the rig is sitting in our backyard. There goes Charlie. You can see our gate down there that uh, we have this thing sitting behind. So it's it's uh, solidly in our backyard, nice and safe. So um, yeah, here's the uh, front end of the uh, rig here, the engine compartment. And as you can see, right over in that corner pocket, that's where we have the Genie um, H, um, yeah, Hawk. And it does a great job. And I've got it so that it takes... Um, so that it views all this area over here. Now we think that the mice and the rats and the rodents are using this corner here and getting up here and getting through the foam over the top of the firewall into the cab. So this is the area that we think they're com coming in. Now when we first started having problems we could hear scratching up here in this corner and at that time they were going up and they were getting above the ceiling but i think we've got that sealed off so they can't go up there one of the things that that we do is patty takes and fills these little containers containers with peppermint oil and then puts puts the uh, cotton swabs and adds a little uh, i think another another little bit of oil or water in there and uh they I don't think they work that well, to tell you the truth. There's a lot of people that swear by them, but I don't. <laughs> Here's another little goodie that we use. And this is a um, little uh, electronic device. It's got lights, kind of got some strobes on it. And um, it also has a high-pitched frequency that you can't hear, but the mice can hear. And supposedly, it, when it goes off, it's supposed to drive the rodents crazy. Again, I don't know how good those things work. I don't think it's working that good at all, really, because we've had mice approach the rig and uh, get in with them in here before. So, anyway, that's that's what we're doing under the cab. Now, down on the ground, you can see this video right here. That is a, a more potent strobe light. It's set to go off about um, 7 o'clock at night, 6.30 or 7 o'clock when the sun goes down. You can see that we have three of them here in front pointed at the engine compartment. So that's what we're doing under the rig. Now inside the rig, I want to show you these little partitions I made with screen. Now I got this screen from Home Depot and um, it comes in three foot by five foot rolls. And I just simply cut it out to fit, and I just tuck it in there. And because the wires are so sharp and you've got all those little edges, <laughs> it sits pretty pretty uh, strong where it's at. It's pretty healthy. It'd take a pretty strong mouse to move that out of the way. So, and again, you can see down here, you can see we've got one of those lights. And we've got more peppermint oil. Now over here on this other side, you can see a lot more of a, a, of a, a project. <laughs> so I've got this stuff made, uh, set up so that it comes right to the top. And it's form fit pretty good against all of this, all of this area. It goes up above the, the dash or the uh, steering column. Down here, you can see the steel wool. Um, and I, you only have to use the steel wool in a couple areas. So you can see I have it all down here along the carpet. And it goes all the way over to the wall. And then back up under the dash. And back up the other side. So let's see if I... Yeah, there you go. So... You can see that, that that is pretty secure. And what this does is it just reassures us that if it happens and they do get through the, the, um, the firewall and into the, this area, that they're not going to go very far. They're just going to be contained in there. Now, I think you saw some electronic uh, traps down there that we have behind that screen. I will show you pictures. I, I've got some pictures of them and uh, they'll be real clear and you can see what they actually look like and how they work. Uh, basically, they have 
uh, metal plates inside that are hooked up to some electrical wires and those to a good little charge and when the mouse comes in and uh, starts walking towards the bait that you leave in there uh, then it kind of shocks them pretty good and cooks them enough to where you can get rid of them so um, <laughs> I guess that's a general way of putting it so anyway I'll show you pictures of that and leave links for that too and uh, most of the stuff we got on Amazon so you can get it on Amazon so anyway that's uh, pretty much what's going on and what we've done. Uh, we have not gotten any rodents since, like I said, since that that uh, second to last trip. So the last trip where we took the videos and shared with you, nothing there. Haven't gotten any anything since we've been here at home. We do have some rats running around here from the neighbors. They come over the fence at night. So I, I know that there's rats here. They're just not getting in a motorhome. So anyway, that's a wrap up for that and for everything that we're doing. Hey, I hope this finds you guys doing well. A uh, couple of weeks now till elections. After elections, providing everything is, is still pretty secure and safe, we'll be getting out and sharing some more places that we're going to with you. So hope this finds you doing well. Hey, God bless. Have a really good rest of the day. I'll see you.